Hi, I'm Kim, and I'm going to talk about cholestine resistance transmission in a mixed farm. First, cholestine is a last resort antibiotic in human medicine due to its nephro and neurotoxicity. However, in veterinary medicine, it is still used orally to treat infections caused by enterobacterales as a metaphylactic treatment of enteric diarrheas although currently is almost withdrawn in Europe. But how does cholestine act? Cholestine is a polycationic peptide that destabilizes the membrane of gram-negative bacteria. However, some bacteria present MCR genes, which code for transmembrane proteins that modifies lipopolysaccharides. This modification prevents cholestine action. So, the aim of our study was to detect the occurrence of cholestine-resistant Escherichia coli in a mixed far farm and to unravel the dynamics of cholestine-resistance transmission applying whole genome sequencing. Two hundred and ten fecal samples were collected and homogenized. Then, we plated the, the samples onto McConkey supplemented with cholestine, and 40 gram, 41 grew. Then, we performed PCR for five MCR genes, and we retrieved 18 positives for MCR1. Finally, we performed antimicrobial susceptibility testing for 14 antibiotics, and all isolates resulted multidrug resistant. Then we perform DNA extraction and hybrid sequencing using nanopores minion and Illumina's MySec. Finally, we perform genome assembly and polishing and genetic characterization. Here is represented the phylogenetic tree of the 18 samples and three references. As you may notice, uh, isolates clustered by phylotype B1 and A. However, although some animal uh, isolates clustered by MLST or serotype, uh, the farmer isolate did not group with any animal sample. Regarding MCR1 gene characteristics, we could differentiate two locations, chromosomes and plasmids. Two samples harbored the gene inserted in the chromosome, and the rest, the gene was uh, present in a plasmid, mainly in X4. One of the, one of the samples presented two, copy, uh, two plasmids, in X4 and in HI2. However, there was one sample in which we didn't identify the gene even though MCR1 PCR resulted positive. This event may happen due to subculturing steps in which the sample could have lost the gene. When analyzing the genetic context surrounding the gene, we described four different constructs in which the main difference rely on a mobile element, insertion sequence APL1. These four contexts represent the evolution of the stabilization of the gene because insertors, insertion sequence APL1 is the element responsible of the mobilization of the gene within plasmids and chromosomes. As we can see, most of the constructs lack this mobile element or, ha of, or have it repleted. And these are the ones in which the gene is more stable. However, there were samples in which a copy or two surrounding the genes were, uh, were present, allowing the gene to mobilize. As commented before, ink X4 plasmids were the most abundant carrying MCR1 gene. All these plasmids share the same backbone, which mainly consisted in the cholestine resistance 
type 4 secretion system that allowed self-transmission and a HKB toxin antitoxin system for maintenance and a stability system. The, the size of these plasmids range for 33,000 to 35,000 base pairs. And the most different Inc. X4 plasmid was from a peak isolate. Its size was 45,000 base pairs. And the main difference was that, the, uh, was that it presents an insertion of 12,000 base pairs, which encoded for tetracycline resistance. Then we wanted to know where did the plasmid from the farm uh, came from. We aligned his plasmid to the other, other Inc. X4 plasmids, and we saw that it presented 99% of coverage and 99.97% of identity with three bovine plasmids. As commented before, all isolates were multi-drug resistant. Here is a Benz diagram representing swine, human, and cattle samples. We retrieve a total number of 85 antibiotic resistant genes that were in the chromosome in blue, in plasmids in red, or in the chromosomes and or plasmids in black. These genes confer resistance to more than 10 different classes of antibiotics, such as beta-lactams, aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, or fluoroquinolones. Finally, the same for antibiotic-resistant genes was done for virulence factors. We retrieve a total of 33 different genes coding for these elements. Among these isolates, we describe virulence factors associated with different pathotypes, such as the locus for enterocyte effacement for enteropathogenic Escherichia coli or Shiga toxin for enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli. Another concern, concerning factors such as cytolethal distending toxin, which is a genotoxin that can, in the worst of the cases, lead to carcinogenesis. Both pathotypes are associated with human illness. So, the take-home messages are that hybrid sequencing allowed us closing genomes and plasmids, unraveling the transmission of colistin resistance in a one health scenario. The MCR1 Inc. X4 plasmid from the farmer was most likely transmitted from cattle. And finally, Livestock is a reservoir of antibiotic resistant genes and pathotypes with zoonotic potential. This is the team that made this, pro this, this project possible. And thank you so much for your attention.